We love our furry friends here at Live in the D, and it turns out our sponsors, the Huron Clinton Metro Parks, love them as well and want you to bring your dogs out to the park. That's right. From a pleasant stroll to jumping in the pool, the Metro Parks have a lot of fun activities for the canine in your life. Michelle Oliver has the story. Right now, it's the perfect weather to peruse the park with your pooch. And at the Huron Clinton Metro Parks, there are a lot of things for your dog to sniff and explore. So the Metro Parks are nice, big, open green spaces, which give your pet a lot of room to smell new things, be outside, get active with you. Uh, so it's both good for them and good for you because it gets you outside as well. A popular place to take your canine is on one of their many trails. So of course, trails are everybody's favorite place to take their dogs. Me personally, uh, my dog is more of a rustic trail kind of dog. He doesn't like the paved hike bike trails quite as much. They have some hills, they have trees, lots of areas for him to sniff. But everybody's dog is a little different. So a lot of dogs do like our hike bike trails and we have hike bike paved trails in pretty much every Metro Park uh, with all different views of lakes and trees and animals and sometimes other dogs that you come across as well. Okay, so say you're out on one of these trails and you're like, can I actually bring my dog on this trail? Just look for one of these signs. So if you see something like this, it means you cannot bring your dog. Otherwise, the dog is welcome to join you on that trail. There is one off-leash area in the Metro Park, so our very first one opened at Stony Creek Metro Park uh, last year. So it has become quickly become a really popular destination for dog owners to bring their pets and run in a large open fenced-in area and allow them to be off-leash. Your pet is even invited to come to some of their events. So we've heard from visitors that they want more pet friendly programs. So this summer we have a whole Metro Barks series of programs, which are dog friendly uh, programs and events. And they actually carry all the way through fall. So pretty much year round. Uh, and they have a variety of different types, everything from guided hikes with your furry friend to larger programs like a pool party at Willow Metro Park at the end of the summer where the dogs actually get in the pool uh, with uh, combined with adoptions and dog friendly activities. So there's a, a little bit of everything for the special dog in your life. However, there are a couple of rules they ask your furry friend to follow. So we ask visitors to be responsible pet owners. So that means, of course, keeping them on a six foot or less leash and cleaning up after your pets are the two biggest rules. We also ask that you not interfere with somebody else's park visit. Uh, not everybody might be comfortable with dogs. So be respectful of the other visitors around you. And of course, keep them off of the areas where dogs aren't allowed, which are nature trails, our beaches and inside buildings. And if you do plan to take your pup to the park, you'll need to pack accordingly. And if you're bringing your dog out to the Metro Park, think of things like poop bags, water bottle, or snacks, treats, things that you might need to have a really great experience with your dog. So grab a leash and enjoy the parks. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. That looks like an incredibly good time, it doesn't looks it? looks like a fun time. Absolutely. Well, there are a couple of big events that we want to let you guys know about. On August 26th, from 7 to 9 p.m., Dog Days of Summer will be happening at Hudson Mills Metro Park with fun activities like an mm -hmm. agility course, mm -hmm. um, off-leash area, and water play for your dog. Yeah, and mm -hmm. on September 10th, there will be paws at the pool and the pool paw tea. I <laughs> love it. The pot, y'all get the it? The potty. Oh gosh, at Willow Metro <laughs> Park, <laughs> where your dog can dive into the pool before they shut it down for the end of summer. They will also have vendors, a talent show, and training lessons there as well for the full day event or That's the potty. potty. How cute is that? That's cute. That's cute. All right. Well, there are also dog walking clubs and paws in the park where you can go on a guided nature hike with your dog throughout the next few months. For more information on specific dates and details of their pet friendly events, visit metroparks.com slash barks, B-A-R-K-S. Again, that's metroparks.com slash barks. Mm.